Hi everyone and welcome to today's presentation. We are going to look at occupational health and safety. And in today's presentation, we are going to cover the introductory segment. And our today's objectives, we are going to uh, cover the definitions of terms. We are also going to highlight some key functions of an occupational health nurse. We are also going to discuss the aims. We are also going to break down some of the principles that are used in occupational health and safety. So feel free to interact when you have a question, kindly use the comment section below. A contribution is very much allowed and it will be highly appreciated. So without wasting much of your time, let us quickly go into uh, our first set of objectives, which is the definitions of terms. So our first key uh, definition under today's discussion is basically occupational health. So trying to understand what occupational health is all about and occupational health is basically defined as the promotion and maintenance of the highest degree of physical mental and social well-being of workers in all occupational settings or environments so basically this is an area which is so much concerned with a two-way relationship of work and safety of people found within the same environment so it basically highlights the effects of working um, conditions and also an environment on health of workers and also its influence or ability to perform tasks in the workplace so basically occupational health ensures work and work conditions do not affect the health of people so that's just a quick highlight and also a definition of occupational health. So our next definition is occupational health nursing. So occupational health nursing is basically defined as the application of nursing practice or principles in conserving the health of workers at a workplace or work environment. Our next definition is work or occupation. So occupation is defined as an essential human activity that occupies a considerable part of a person's working hours. That is ends by simulation of some form of rewards which can be in form of monetary funds. Our last set of definition is health. So health is defined as a state of complete physical, mental, social and spiritual well-being and not merely the absence of diseases or infirmity. We are now going to move to our next set of objectives, which was uh, functions of an occupational health nurse. So there are quite a number of functions, and uh, the first function is an occupational health nurse is basically involved in developing and also implementing health and safety programs. Our next function is developing disease prevention programs such as smoking cessation uh, exercises as well as health eating programs. Our next function is documenting all employee injuries and also illnesses within the workplace. Our next function is observing and assessing the work environment for potential dangers and hazards. Our next uh, function of an occupational health nurse is occupational health nurses basically strive to ensure that all health and safety standards are met in an effort to safeguard the health of uh, workers as well as their well-being of employees who are found within a certain workplace. Lastly, the last function of an occupational health nurse is that occupational health nurses always act as advocates for rights of employees by ensuring access to preventive health and safety measures. So there are quite a number and I'm just also going to add on to the same discussed uh, functions of an occupational health nurse. So we also have um, treating injuries and illnesses for employees, including follow-ups as well as referrals. We also have overseeing and uh, implementing emergency and disaster uh, preparedness programs and also planning. So another function that you need to highlight might be also serving as a gatekeeper for health services including rehabilitation and disability matters. Then we also have counseling, which is our main key area in Angola, which is something very much widely practiced by all nurses in the healthcare. So basically counseling employees on physical and mental health issues, as well as guiding them towards community resources. 
and also employee assistance programs. Some other functions include monitoring the health status of employees as well as conducting research on the effects of hazardous work conditions or workplace exposures which might include gathering data and reporting findings to the employer. We're now going to move to our next segment which is the aims of occupational health and safety. So basically the aims we have the following and um, our today's discussion. So our first aim for occupational health and safety is that promotion and maintenance of the highest degree of physical, mental and social well-being of workers in all occupation. Our next aim is, it also aims at preventing uh, departures from health caused by their working condition. Lastly, we have protecting workers in their employment from risks that might result from factors outside the, the work environment. So we are almost uh, done with um, today's discussion. So we are now going to highlight uh, our last objective, which is the principles of occupational health and safety. So we're going to discuss basically six principles that are um, found in occupational health and uh, safety, but I'm not saying these are the only ones. There's basically a wide range of principles and it's based on how you apply them. So our first principle is that um, occupational health and safety services must optimally be preventive oriented and also multidisciplinary. The next principle is that the services or the health care provided should integrate and also complement the existing public health services. Then our next principle is that it should also address environmental consideration. Our fourth principle is the occupational health and safety should involve participation from social partners and other stakeholders. Our fifth principle is that occupational health should base up to data, information, education, training and consultancy, advisory services as well as research findings. Lastly, uh, under the principles we have, Occupational health and safety should be considered as an investment contributing positively towards ensuring productivity and profitability. So basically this marks the end of our presentation and the occupational health and safety like I had said previously uh, from the start. If you have any question, any contribution, any query, you are free to use the comment section down below. Thank you so much for your time and have a blessed day.